Hello, this is a video for uh, installing Firewish in your Android app. In my last video, I show you how to install a Flutter and make creating a new Flutter app. Okay, so this is a Flutter app we created in last video. So now let's install Firewish in your application. So just go to your browser and search for Firewish and click on this link. And now click on get started and click on this create new project and to the project name. Okay, first flutter. Okay, name is project and accept this and click continue. continue and click on I accept the flutter analytics now and you click create project. Now this will create a project. This will take a while. So let's wait. Creating a project. Okay. So after mm -hmm. we have we also need to install some dependencies. So go to the website yeah. house dot dev and click enter. Okay. Search for firebase. Okay. So here you can see all the dependencies. Firebase or firebase core messaging, analytics storage. Uh, we all we just need firebase core. Auth and cloud files too, so we will install it later. So firstly, uh, wait for it. Oh, okay, so now click continue. So your project is created. Okay. So your project is created. Now add your application. So your application is Android. So click on this Android, and uh, here you need your package name. So for getting this, go to the Android Studio and go to the Android folder. And go to the app folder. Go to the SRC. This folder. Uh, so in a uh, this build dot cradle, you will see this application ID. Okay, so copy this. Copy this ID and paste it here. Okay, and if you need any nickname, you can give. Okay, Flutter okay. project. Okay. So now click on register app. Go to content. Okay, so now download this JSON file. Go in service of JSON. Click on download. Uh, downloading will start. Okay, so it's downloaded. Okay, so we have to paste this file in our uh, project folder. So just go to the download and move this file to our folder this is a project folder okay go to the uh, uh, folder you can see you have two application level that okay so go to the android app okay so yes android app and we have to paste here okay so after pasting here now go for further steps click on next here firebase sdk okay so go to your project and go to the path as specified uh, project is good okay so as you can see uh, in our android go to build good okay and add these dependencies uh, this copy this and add this okay here paste now save and go here and now click on java if you want if you create it click on kotlin and can create kotlin minus keep it in java so you have well select java and go to the project app models and build gradle okay so in a project in a app go to the build dot gradle okay so add these dependencies in a plugin um, the plugins okay see here so now copy this uh, copy this copy this and uh, add kernel application paste here and change this type and apply okay so save this here again and go for further steps 
Inner dependencies add these two dependencies. Just copy this dependency. Add the red color for okay so copy on these uh, copy these dependencies and do uh, paste it here okay and uh, use this comments and these comments not save and it is completed now go to next okay and continue to console so now your project is added completely so you can now you can add your authentication and this database so mostly we are we will use by store database okay and uh, Create, create database and create for start production mode. Click next and click enable. Okay, uh, this will run in background. So, our main part is uh, go to main.dot file and here you can see uh, this. Okay, void main run app. So, replace this before replacing this. Uh, we need to install Firebase core. Okay, so go to this and here pubs.dot app. Okay. Of not dev website and search Firebase core and click on this and install. Okay, copy this. Okay, and go to the oh uh, yes, okay, go to the postback.yml and scroll down, scroll down, and you can see dependencies and paste here. Okay, and okay. so click on pubs get. It will get the dependencies of the Firebase. So it will take a while. Switch. Ah, okay, so here all the dependencies is get. Now go to main dot dot. Get dependencies. Okay. Dependencies. After getting this run analysis, okay. Now you can, you can click on so okay. Now here click enter and uh, type firebase or type port and type firebase port port dot dot okay. And now here uh, just enter and type future. main and async and call it bracket and enter and type widgets letter by dot ensure and slice okay this and type await firebase dot initialize app and here and copy this copy and paste it here and delete it okay my app is completely connected with firebase so here it is reloading so we stop it here and now Okay, so now click on this and run your app again. It will take some time, so let's wait. So while I'm running this app, if you see this error, okay, so this error, error will come. So to overcome this error, um, go to the Android, uh, enter the app, and go to the build out cradle, okay. Here you can find min SDK version. Okay, so here you can min SDK version. Type a 21 and save.
get control now again and this and this will overcome your error and you have to learn successfully okay. okay so here you can see after changing the main HTTP button your app is running okay completely fine so now your uh, firebase is connected okay so now you can start the further coding thank you